Hey, uh, Eucaria, can you give us a brief history of Ireland? Sure. Well, I think most people know of St. Patrick's Day um, and that it is an Irish festival which celebrates being Irish. Well, St. Patrick was brought to Ireland in 460 as a slave from Wales um, and then he left and went to Italy where he was converted to Christianity and then he went back to Ireland to bring Christianity to the Irish Celtic people. Um, so skipping ahead a few years, um, our, the Celtic people were always quite unique within Europe because um, we the Celtic people always believed in equality between men and women and therefore there were women warriors in Ireland which used to frighten many of the potential invaders away because a lot of men didn't like to be beaten by women back then <laughs> and maybe it's still, still true don't. today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, then the next biggest thing in history was the colonization of Ireland by England um, starting in the 16th century until the early 20th century and it wasn't taken too readily because of the nature of the Celtic warriors um, there it was probably the bloodiest period in history because um, the Celtic people did not like to be colonized so and um, there was a lot of fighting and battles between the English and the Irish even though the English had to all intents and purposes colonized it was not an easy colonization but the single most effective um, technique that the English used in their colonization was, came in 1822 when the English implemented a national um, education system. Before this, Irish people used to go and learn um, in schools called hedge schools. So they were outside. Um, they were given by um, people who wanted to teach. So um, genuine academics and people learned stuff like ancient Greek, Latin, so most people had this tradition of speaking other languages, mathematics. So when the education system was changed in line with the English um, colonial system, um, it w became illegal to speak Irish in the classroom. And oh, wow. it became illegal to speak Irish in many places. Now, in my city, there's um, a lovely trading area called the Old English Market and it's called the Old English Market because there's a sign inside the door anyone who is who will speak um, who will speak in Irish and not English will be sent to jail oh, so wow. um, it was really strictly enforced and it was a very I can't say loadable technique, but it was a very effective way of colonization. So nowadays in Ireland, people speak English and people speak Irish both. And it's considered bilingual. All documents, all street names are written in Irish and then English. In 19... 22 there was a, what was known as the civil war and that was the beginning of the end for the english so the first irish constitution was written in 1935 and it stated that ireland is a neutral country so therefore ireland did not enter world war ii and it was declared a republic in 1949